Jason Chan and uh, we are at Chertsey Bookstore here in Surrey and we're doing a book signing for Jason's book, The Radiant Warrior. First time in here. First time in here. It's first time for a lot of things tonight actually. It's our first event at the new venue and we're looking forward to uh, a wonderful evening in oh, Jason's company. And um, say welcome, welcome to Surrey, welcome I'd to Naked Dragon. I'd love to be here, it's a beautiful town. <laughs> thank you, it's an absolute pleasure to have you here. Oh, thank you, Julie. And, um, I'd love to ask you a few questions, if Please that's do, okay. please do, yes. All right, that's wonderful, thank you very much. Um, so my first question for you, Jason, mm. you are a Radiant Warrior, and if you hadn't have chosen the Radiant Warrior path, what path do you think you would have chosen, and how do you think your life would look right now? Okay, so you can see this, the book is called The Radiant Warrior, so somebody called me Radiant Warrior. So what happened then, um, when I was very young, I was a martial artist, and then, okay, I studied um, a martial art, Chinese martial art, as well as the Tai Chi in my teenage, and then later on, I was a, a, a Chinese uh, martial art instructor when I was 24 years of age. And then gradually, okay, you know, I'm reaching a point of spiritual awakening, and then I developed, okay, into the Tai Chi system, and then since then I teach all over the world. And um, if I'm not choosing, okay, you know, choosing this kind of particular path, I call it energy path, uh, the Taoist path, the yogic path, to sum up about the radiant warrior, um, because I actually find everything is vibrating with energy and also everything, okay, you know, there's only two elements in the entire universe, energy and the mind. And then we have the consciousness. So if you say, if I'm not going to choose, okay, you know, my own path, which path am I choose? I can give you some idea. Um, I studied Course in Miracles yes. for 26 years. I studied the Buddhist sort of uh, uh, teaching, Eastern philosophy, about 14 years. I study a lot of different you know, types of philosophy. So my path is very much a combination. So there is a one, there's, there's no such thing as a one path or the other path. I think I'm very much like a blending in um, the Eastern wisdom, uh, power, empowerment, meditation, um, the Western psychology, uh, psychoanalysis, under, deeply understanding about our own, own existence. So I, I would say my path is very universal. Yes, there is no uh, such thing as, you know, it's one particular path. I actually embracing, if you like, I love to, em I love to learn, I love to embrace all beautiful, essential teachings. Yes, if you have to ask me what sort of path I would like to take, the path of life. Path of life. That's wow. right. Now that leads me very nicely, actually, onto my second question. Mm -hmm. You recently wrote a guest blog for the Naked Dragon website. That's and right. As part of the blog, you talk about choosing your spiritual path and sticking with that. Yes. You make um, reference to people who um, almost become a little bit of a spiritual junkie, really, and they yes. try one thing, they try another thing, they try a third thing, and they continue to search. Now, at what point do you believe that people make a decision as to what path is right yes. for them? And until that point, don't they need to try out a few different subjects before yeah, they de decide? Definitely. Okay, so I'm uh, one of the most, I call myself, and also I told all my students, I am the, uh, one of the most practical spiritual practitioners down on earth. The most important thing is like this. Uh, we have to understand about uh, two aspects of our human existence. Before our spiritually awake, uh, we are very much uh, based on our personality existence. And some, some teaching describe that as an ego self. Yes. So that's a path of the ego. The ego's path is based on uh, uncertainty, doubt, suspiciousness, and also separation and fear. I don't think it's, uh, there's any path at all. However, so before one spiritually genuine spiritual awakening, I would suggest the person feel some positive parity. So does this Radiant Warrior book talk about the Radiant Presence? Yes. Be more peaceful, be kind, be compassionate to your uh, life, to the other people, love your family, support your children and respect and honor your parents and something like this. Be a um, wonderful person down there. 
and even be successful, happy, joyful. However, um, just like everything else, if you want to be successful and happy, there is a there's a there's a principle to govern that. So the principle is very easy for me. You have to raise the vibration, uh, expand your consciousness. What is possible for you? Um, what is it? Uh, your belief system which is, can support your life and the others. And that is, I call it the worldly path. The worldly path. That means you still have to live your life, but live your life beautiful, if you like. On a spiritual level, because the, the ego itself cannot attain enlightenment or do not really know oneself, because it's still artificial. So, enlightenment, it got to be come from the core being. The core being yearning for something, somebody called a soul. But it's a very hard to the pinpoint, okay, because there is no such thing as a so-called an entity called a soul. So sometimes they call the form of consciousness running running out of the world for the soul. And that aspect of you which is remember your truth. And that that aspect at this moment, in this context, let's talk about it as a soul. When a soul awake and the observer, that means within every one of us, we have consciousness and then there's the observer. Notice we have two aspects. Two aspects. Yes. One is I call personality self yes. and one is your true self. Yes. The little true self. Yes. And then there's a battle. The battle down here is quite classic. It's between the head and the heart. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, and then the genuine spiritual path, it got to the power of the heart. And then gradually, the path of the heart override, okay, the logic, reason, intellectual limitation of our egoic, dual, dualistic existence, you know, for system. And then you notice, okay, there's a spaciousness, there's an intelligence, high wisdom, and higher power exists. Then you continue to choose, and then it will continue to expand your consciousness and your presence. Because energy and the mind is still connected. And then gradually you expand it so much and you, without a shadow of doubt, you realize, okay, you are not really being imprisoned or bound by time and space. You, you, you gradually become a free spirit. When you're reaching this point, you would like to utilize your human existence as a temple, as a channel, to express the sheer beauty of your soul yes. or, uh, or the beauty of the universe. Yes. That is wonderful. Yes. I love your description, the path of the heart. Yes. That's a beautiful way to describe it. That, that will really resonate. With oh, thank thing. you so much. Um, in fact, that leads me very nicely on to my final question oh, for you, Jason. Okay. Mm -hmm. Which again, I believe, is coming from the heart for many people. We're beginning to see a lot of green shoots all around the world of building of communities. Yes. Do you see this continuing to develop um, in a positive way? And if so, how differently do you think the world's going to look okay. in five years' time? Okay, prediction, prediction, prediction. Yes. Okay, and that is completely different than the power of now, the power of eternal now. It's like this. There's no such thing as a fixed the prediction. It very depends on the momentum. So i coming back into this first. Human beings, when they come together, they only do two things. One is called joining, and one is called making a mess. We argue, we, 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 we hate each other, okay? That's a, a usual personality thing. Community do not really exempt from the uh, egoic sort of uh, force system, uh, uh, creating conflict, and then, you know, I like you, I don't like you, okay, why do you do this to me, and, blah, 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 and, and all this kind of thing. Um, however, the, uh, the Eastern philosophy is very much like that. In the Buddhist teaching, talk about Sangha. Okay, Sangha. Once upon a time, you know, in the uh, um, uh, in the ancient past, okay, they talk about uh, a group of monks or nuns. They got together to pursuing truth. They meditate together. They help in supporting each other, and it's beautiful. And even in the Buddhist teaching, talk about you know free treasures. One of one of them is Dharma, the Buddhist teaching. The second one, it is the Buddha itself, very much like the cry the Buddha within ourselves. The other one, it is the spiritual community, or spiritual friendship, or the spiritual group. Yeah. I totally to agree with it. For writing, okay, we have a very strong uh, presence of the light, and a very strong presence of peace, very strong presence of, of uh, a true purpose. So we can override okay, some of the uh, unskillfulness of our ego existence. So I think it's a very, very positive. Mm. But however, 
So as we go through our awakening and healing process, we were still facing quite a lot of external uh, objections. And namely, that means our fear, our conflict, our irritation, and um, our lack and scarcity. So we still have to trans transcend all those aspects. But having said that, the whole world is a hung hunger okay, for true knowledge. Yes. And hunger for, you know, how can I be spiritual and attain to true knowledge to satisfy my soul and my heart? At the same time, it's okay to transcend the limitation of our human existence. So that means, so as I, I always suggest, okay, be healthy, be successful, and also, you know, be, uh, be, 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 be a light person so you can you know, hold the other people's hands so your life will be beautiful. And then we got more and more people like this just like you, okay? So, you know, bring make a dragon into the world and then introduce something seemingly it's, a, it's a based on universal truth and principle. I um, am an optimist. So, I will see the world getting better and better. But then, as, as usual, before you actually uh, come out with some real good, so that's a split. As I already pointed out, as you, we awake individually as, as well as collectively, we split to see the, the beauty as well as the beast. Yes. Okay. Yes. So that means the light and the shadow. Yes. Yes. So I don't I don't think the shadow will win, but then you know the light have to be shining more. Yes. And then the shadow simply melting away. Okay. So we yes. all become radiant warriors. Definitely. And, and also some some ladies say, okay, radiant warrior is a too masculine. So, and then I put it, okay, if you're a lady, you can be a radiant warrior princess. <laughs> yes. And on that beautiful description, Jason, I will say thank you, bless you for being here. Thank you so Absolute much. Absolute pleasure, and we're looking very much forward to your talk this evening. Thank you so much. Thank you very much.